Hey guys, welcome to QT Drawings. Today I'll be drawing Bowser. I'll be drawing on my tablet, but you can also follow along on paper, and please remember to like and subscribe. Okay, now let's get started. Okay, I'm going to first start off by zooming in on the head. Let's start with a curve across for the top of the nose. Next underneath, let's draw two curves down, forming a rounded triangle. And now inside, at the top, let's draw the two nostrils. Now underneath, in the center, let's draw a small line down. And now let's close off the bottom on each side with a curve. Next, on the top left, let's draw a curve out and then bring it down. And the same thing on the right. Next, let's move on top and let's draw the eyes starting with the eyebrows. Let's start with an angled line up and then curve it down at the end. And the same on the right. Now let's do the same thing on top. Now to close off the end, let's curve it in and then curve it back down. Next, let's move underneath the eyebrows and let's draw a curve down for the eyes. Next, let's move inside and draw another curve. And then one more circular curve inside. And now let's color both of these in black. And that's it for the eyes. Next, let's draw the shape of the head. Let's start underneath each eyebrow and let's draw a curve down to the top of the mouth. And then let's draw two bumps in between the eyebrows on top here. And now before finishing the top of the head, let's move down and draw the mouth. Let's start on the sides of the snout here, and let's draw curves up on both sides. And now underneath, let's draw a long curve down, and on the right, And now let's close it off at the bottom by curving it up in the middle and back down. Next, let's move inside and draw the teeth. Let's start at the top and let's draw two large curved triangles. And then two smaller ones on both sides. Now let's do the same thing for the bottom row. Next inside, let's draw the tongue. We'll start in the middle and let's draw a curve out to the left and out to the right. Now 
Now from the sides, let's curve it down to the large tooth. And then close off the bottom with a curve in between. And that's it for the inside of the mouth. Next, let's hop back outside and draw the jaw. Let's start from that left outside line and let's curve it in and then down. And the same on the right. Now let's close off the bottom with a wavy line with two bumps. Next, on the sides of the head here, let's add the necklace. We'll start with a curve on the left side and on the right. And now let's add two V-shapes for the spikes on the left and the same thing on the right. Now let's hop back up to the top and finish drawing the top of the head. We'll start by adding the horns. From the left side here, let's draw a curve up. And then curve it back down and into the eyebrow. And now let's do the same thing for the right horn. Now on the top of the head, let's add the hair. On the top, let's draw two curves coming up to a point. And then another curve piece going down on both sides. And then two smaller ones on the left and on the right. And that's it for the head. Next, let's draw the arms. Let's start next to the horn and let's draw a curve out and then angle it down. And then for the end, let's angle it up and out. And now underneath, let's add a similar bent line for the bottom of each arm. Next, let's draw the armbands. We'll start with two curves on each arm at the top here. And then a V-shape at the top and the bottom. And then two triangles inside pointing in opposite directions. And that's it for the first set of armbands. Now let's draw another set at the end of the arm. We'll start with a curved rectangle shape at the end. And now let's add the spikes in the same way as the other one. So let's do one spike at the top and the bottom. and then two triangles inside.
And that's it for the arms. Next, let's draw the hands. Let's start at the top and let's draw a small curve out from both sides. Now let's draw a wavy, bumpy line up for the thumb. And now a curved triangle shape for the nail at the end. And then one more bumpy line down for the other side of the thumb. Next, let's hop down and let's draw a curve at the bottom here. Now for the next finger, let's curve it up and back in. And then a V-shape at the end for the nail. Now on top, let's draw a curved line up. And then let's draw the next finger in the same way. Curve it out and back in. And then add the nail at the end. Now for the last finger, let's curve it in and then bring it down. Then let's add a curve inside for the nail. And now one more curved line to close off the hand. And that's it for the hands. Next, let's draw the shell on the back. Let's start next to the horn here and let's draw a curve out and then curve it down. And the same on the right. Now for the end, let's step in and let's draw a curve up on both sides. Now let's draw the first set of spikes with the curved triangle shape. Now let's continue the shell by curving it up on both sides. Then another bump up and in towards the center. And lastly, let's add one more spike in the center at the top with another pointed V shape. And that's it for the shell. Next, let's move down and finish drawing the body. Let's start underneath the arms and let's curve it down and out. And now let's close it off at the bottom by bringing each side down towards the center. Next, inside on the belly, let's draw a curve down on the left and on the right. And now inside this middle section, let's draw curved stripes across.
And that's it for the main part of the body. Next, let's add the legs. Let's start on the left side of the body and let's draw a curve down and then angle it back in. And let's do the same on the right. Now underneath, let's draw a small angle down. And then bring it down on both sides. Now let's add the feet. From the outside line, let's curve it outwards. And then let's add the first toe with a triangle shape. And then let's add one more, going out and back in. Now let's hop inside and let's draw a small line. Then the next toe with another triangle shape. And then let's close off the bottom of the foot with a line across. And that's it for the feet. Lastly, let's add the tail. Let's start underneath the body in between the legs here and let's draw a curve down and over to the right. Now continue it on the other side of the leg with an S-shaped curve up and out like this. And then let's curve it back in. Lastly, let's add some spikes with three triangles on top. And that's it for Bowser, now let's quickly color it in. And done. Hope you enjoyed drawing along with me and please remember to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching!